we just tracked a mysterious object from another star. And it's sending signals directly at Earth. What it does next will shock you. Stick around because what happened next will blow your mind. Something strange has entered our skies. An object not born in our solar system, but drifting in from the deep unknown. Scientists call it 3i Atlas. At first, it looked like just another interstellar visitor, cold, silent, and harmless. But then everything changed. Astronomers began to notice something impossible. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. This object wasn't just reflecting sunlight. It was sending signals, not random noise, but structured electromagnetic waves, perfectly tuned, repeating, and aimed directly at Earth. At first, the signal seemed faint, like static whispering across the void. But when the Hubble Space Telescope focused on it, the truth sent chills through every control room. The signal was transmitting at the hydrogen line frequency, 1.42 gigahertz, the universal cosmic channel that scientists use when searching for intelligent life. It's as if something out there knew exactly how to speak in our language of the stars. Your pulse was precise. Every rhythm intentional. This wasn't a comet and it wasn't a coincidence. Across observatories worldwide, researchers began comparing data and the same chilling conclusion echoed everywhere. 3i Atlas was trying to make contact, but contact with who? And for what purpose? What happened next would shake the foundations of everything we thought we knew about space and about ourselves. Okay. Then it happened. In the early hours of a quiet Sunday morning, the world's radios went insane. Across continents, from tiny ham radio setups to massive communication arrays, a sudden burst of static flooded every channel, exactly 47 seconds long. At first, people thought it was just interference. But then audio engineers and astrophysicists ran the signal through spectrum analysis. And what they found was impossible. Hidden inside that chaotic noise was a repeating mathematical pattern, the Fibonacci sequence, a code that appears everywhere in nature from the spirals of galaxies to the structure of DNA. It wasn't random. It was intelligent. Can every pulse match the signals coming from 3i Atlas? The same frequency, the same rhythm. It was as if the object had reached out, touching every receiver on Earth at once. Like knocking on our planet's door, governments scrambled, the military classified recordings, but amateur operators had already archived the full transmission and shared it online. Within hours, Thousands of people around the world were deco decoding fragments, and some claimed the static wasn't just numbers, but contained tones, pitches, and even a faint rhythmic heartbeat. And just when the noise stopped, every major observatory detected a faint light from the object, pulsing in perfect sync with the pattern we had just received. Oak, it was no longer a question of if something was behind this. Can the real question was, why now? And what message were we meant to decode? As the world scrambled to understand the message, the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto 3i Atlas, and what it revealed sent shockwaves through every agency on Earth. Instead of reflecting sunlight like any natural object would, it seemed to absorb almost everything. Webb sensors detected almost zero albedo. It was darker than coal darker than the void itself, but through its infrared imaging, a strange detail emerged. Patterns, perfect geometric shapes, triangular grids etched across its surface, repeating endlessly, glowing faintly in infrared light like circuitry. No comet, no asteroid, no debris had ever looked like this before. It wasn't spinning chaotically. Either, it was stable. Holding a constant orientation toward Earth, Scientists couldn't explain it, 
Some said it might be a natural mineral formation reflecting thermal energy in impossible ways. Others whispered that the structure looked engineered. Every triangle seemed to connect to another, forming what looked like a massive, unified system, almost like a solar sail or an antenna. Then came the real shock. As Webb's instruments continued to study it, a sudden spike appeared, the same frequency as the hydrogen line signal detected before, but this time the telescope picked up modulated bursts, encoded data riding on the wave. Someone or something was transmitting information. You know, the object wasn't just signaling randomly anymore, it was responding. And for the first time, Scientists began to realize we might not just be observing it, it might be observing us back. Days after the James Webb discovery, the signal grew stronger, focused, deliberate, and unmistakably intelligent. The Deep Space Network in Australia detected a repeating pulse that didn't match any known natural emission. When the data was decoded, what emerged was something no one could believe, ek, a blueprint. Inside the modulated hydrogen line signal, was a stream of binary code, zeros and ones arranged with eerie precision. When scientists visualized the pattern, it formed a three-dimensional geometric structure made entirely of interconnected triangles, the exact same shape seen glowing on the surface of 3i Atlas. And it looked like a design, not a message, not language, but instructions. Engineers at NASA and ESA ran simulations and the more they reconstructed it, the clearer it became. This wasn't random data. It was a schematic, a layered system that res resembled both a, ma a map and a machine. Can I? But here's where things turned darker. The triangles, when aligned according to the data, pointed toward a single coordinate right here on Earth, a point deep within the South Atlantic, inside a region known for its unstable magnetic field, the South Atlantic Anomaly. Some scientists thought it was coincidence. Others feared it meant something else entirely, that the signal wasn't just being sent to us. It was being guided behind closed doors. The agencies involved locked down the data. SETI went silent. NASA's public channels erased the frequency logs. But whispers began to leak that the blueprint wasn't just pointing at Earth, it was activating something beneath it. The moment the triangular blueprint emerged, the world's response went from curiosity to controlled panic publicly. Nothing happened. NASA shifted its telescopes to distant galaxies. SETI suspended all updates on 3i Atlas. The story, the story was buried. Replaced with reports of solar anomalies and routine satellite glitches, privately, the reaction was, was far more urgent. Deep within secure facilities, scientists and cryptographers worked around the clock. They scrambled to understand the schematic, to interpret the pulses, to predict what might come next. Every agency, every observatory, every deep space network was on high alert. The realization was unavoidable. 3i Atlas was not just passing through. Its signals were targeted. Every pulse, every Fibonacci pattern, every hydrogen line transmission was a message, a warning, a test, or a demonstration of power. And then the object did something no one could ignore, its energy emissions, its trajectory. Even the coherence of its signals all shifted subtly, almost imperceptibly, as if it were responding to hum humanity itself, it wasn't just drifting anymore, it was steering. At the same time, the James Webb Telescope and other observatories recorded a phenomenon that defied physics. The object's thermal signature dropped as it approached the sun, colder as it neared heat, and its triangular patterns appeared to move in real time, reacting to observation, this was no longer a cosmic curiosity. It was a presence, deliberate, intelligent, and fully aware of us. The silence of governments and the sudden misdirection of public information only confirmed one terrifying truth. Humanity was not in control, and whatever 3i Atlas was doing, it had already begun. Mm. Then came the pattern no one could dismiss. As global satellites mapped the new transmissions, 
the pulses from 3i Atlas began to align not with random points in space, but with a very specific region on our planet, the South Atlantic Anomaly. It's a strange patch over the Atlantic where Earth's magnetic field is weakest, where satellites glitch, instruments fail, and cosmic radiation slips closer to the surface. It's the one place where Earth's invisible shield is broken, keg, and that's exactly where 3i Atlas was now pointing. Every transmission, every pulse of energy traced a path that intersected perfectly with that magnetic scar. Scientists at NASA's Goddard Center noticed that each pulse wasn't just a signal. It was synchronized with the magnetic fluctuations of that region. As if something out there was tuning the planet itself, it was no longer sending, it was interacting then over a span of hours. Observatories in Chile, South Africa, and Australia recorded faint distortions in the upper atmosphere, like invisible ripples spreading outward from the anomaly. Instruments captured brief bursts of magnetism, sharp and rhythmic, mirroring the Fibonacci pulse pattern from earlier. Some researchers suggested it might be a test, an attempt to probe Earth's magnetic field, maybe even to rewrite it. Uh, others feared something worse that 3i Atlas had found a weakness and was using it to transmit back. For the first time in recorded history, Earth wasn't just observing the universe. The universe was answering back through us. Then it happened. At precisely 12 minutes past the hour, the final pulse arrived. It started small, a flicker, a brief anomaly in satellite telemetry, a few lost connections, some screens blinking to black. Most dismissed it as a technical hiccup, Kinnett, but within seconds, the scale of the event became undeniable. Across Europe and South America, power grids surged and collapsed, air traffic control systems froze, communications links went dark, GPS satellites desynchronized, leaving planes, ships, and military networks blind. For seven full minutes, the planet went silent, no guidance, no data, no signals, just static and a profound, unshakable void. Humanity's most advanced interconnected systems had all been rendered useless simultaneously with surgical precision. And yet, one deep space relay node stayed active just long enough to transmit a single fragment of data before it, too, went offline. When scientists finally reopened the file hours later, the contents sent chills through every control room. It was a map, a three-dimensional projection overlaid on Earth's magnetic field. At its center pulsed a single point of light right over the South Atlantic anomaly, the same vulnerable region that 3i Atlas had been targeting all along. Um, in that moment, the world realized that this was not a coincidence. This was a demonstration, deliberate, intelligent, and terrifying. The blackout was not a glitch. It was a message. And then it was gone. Every telescope that had been tracking 3i Atlas, every radar array, every satellite suddenly found nothing. No object, no debris, no fading reflection of sunlight. The sky returned to normal, but the emptiness was deafening. Ain't? In the days that followed, governments remained silent. Media struggled to explain the blackout. Offering vague stories about solar storms or communication glitches, but scientists knew the truth. The signals, the pulses, the energy surges had not disappeared. They lingered, embedded in corrupted telemetry, etched into the Earth's shifting magnetic field, and burned into the recordings of deep space observatories. Some researchers began to hypothesize the un unimaginable. Perhaps 3i Atlas was not merely a visitor. Perhaps it was a key activating a network of structures already hidden in our solar system, dormant, waiting for the right alignment, waiting for us to be ready. You know, the silence was not the end. It was a pause, a moment to watch, to measure, to respond. And somewhere beyond our view, faint radio echoes continued, repeating the same haunting sequence over and over. One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. 
The universe had left a fingerprint, a message, a challenge. Humanity had glimpsed a secret far older, far stranger, and far more deliberate than we had ever imagined. In the wake of Three Eye Atlas's disappearance, the world entered a strange, uneasy limbo. Publicly, life went on as if nothing had happened. Governments offered bland explanations. News outlets shifted focus, but behind closed doors, the reality was far darker. Scientists, cryptographers, and military physicists worked around the clock, examining every trace, every corrupted signal, every lingering pulse. They scoured the global data for hidden patterns, subtle shifts, and anomalies in Earth's magnetic field. Every measurement hinted at intelligence, at purpose, at something that had observed us back. The implications were staggering. Humanity had faced not just an interstellar visitor, but a deliberate interaction with a technology or intelligence far beyond our comprehension. Everything from the Fibonacci sequences to the hydrogen line signals, from the triangular surface patterns to the blackout, pointed to one undeniable truth. We were being tested, measured, and perhaps even prepared. And yet, the most profound questions remained unanswered. Why here? Why now? Why target the South Atlantic anomaly? Was this a warning, a message, or something far more consequential? Across the globe, in secure labs and observatories, the brightest minds of our generation held their breath. They realized that the universe we thought we understood was far stranger, far older, and far more deliberate than anyone had ever dared to imagine. Even though Three Eye Atlas had vanished from sight, its presence lingered. Sensitive instruments across the world continued to pick up faint signals, whispers of the same hydrogen line frequency, the same Fibonacci patterns, repeating endlessly. It was as if the object had left a calling card, a signature embedded into the very fabric of our planet and the surrounding space. Dot, the magnetic field carried subtle distort, satellites recorded strange ionization spikes. The atmosphere itself seemed to ripple in response to what had passed. Count. Scientists began to understand that this was not just a single event. Three Eye Atlas had interacted with the Earth in a way that could not be ignored, and the traces it left behind hinted at networks, alignments, and perhaps ancient mechanisms waiting to be activated. Ike, for the first time, humanity realized we were not alone. The universe was alive with intelligence, with deliberate design, and with forces that had been observing us far longer than our species had existed. And somewhere, in the vast emptiness of space where Three Eye Atlas had once drifted, faint radio echoes continued their silent repetition, a haunting mathematical pulse that reminded us that the story was far from over. The universe had reached out, and it had shown us that the solar system we call home may be far stranger, far older, and far more deliberate than anyone had ever dared to imagine. Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.